Morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to KUS Community Radio. For the Brazos Valley. Time for another exciting adventure we on the radio. welcome y'all every Thursday just before the 8 o'clock hour. Thank y'all so much for joining us. We're going to do it Thank right you, now. Thank you, DJ Lance, for having us. That's D.D. Sharp doing the mashed potato on the oldies jukebox, 7.55 in the morning on a crisp, cool Thursday morning on KEOS 89.1 FM College Station. Brian, community radio for the Brazos Valley, 31 degrees outside. You know, they're saying the spring is in the air. We're just a few weeks away from it, but I don't know. We keep having these cold snaps and a poignant reminder that winter isn't done yet, but... Uh, as always, things are sunny and bright here in the studios of KEOS Community Radio when Mr. Justin Smith walks through the door. We're well, bringing in the sunshine this morning. Good Sun morning, DJ. Shine man. some rays on us We're today. We're going to shine some rays What's on going us on? this morning. We've got, as always, just some wonderful things going on. And uh, I've been uh, really impressed uh, as I go across the district. We have some uh, celebrations of Black History Month. And uh, some of those things and programs are going on at the schools. And so I just want to inform our listeners of what we have going on. And so our annual Black History program uh, at Neal Elementary will actually be going on today at 1.30 p.m. Uh, the theme is From Struggle Comes Strength. And uh, we thank Ms. Chambers at uh, Neal along with Ms. Juanita Collins, their leader there. Uh, they always do a wonderful job. Is that open to the public? Can it anyone is. anyone drop in? It is open to the, the public. What's the address? The address there uh, is off of Martin Luther King Street. I do not have that address listed with me. Uh, but if you go down to Texas Avenue, hook mm -hmm. a left. Uh, if, if you're coming from the north and you hit a left on Texas Avenue going on MLK, you hit that left on MLK. Mm -hmm. It's about a mile down the road and you'll see that. Can't miss it. All right. Elementary. So... Uh, and as always, if you want the direct address, just go look on our website. It is listed there. Uh, we also have a Black History program going on tonight at Navarro Elementary uh, out there in North Bryan. And so we, we want to invite our guest out today. That starts at 5, and uh, I'll be the uh, master of ceremonies oh, there. Oh, you will. And so we've, we've right. got some, some cool things in store uh, for our guest in public today. And uh, I heard we're going to have a nice meal afterwards uh, oh. with some soul food. And so make sure you get out there to kneel or, uh, at 1.30 today. So who's, who's serving up the vittles? Man, we got a culmination of vittles coming in. Some have been donated. Some uh -huh. will be home cooked. So it's kind of like a potluck? Thing? It is. And it's, right. it's gonna That's be, the best way to do it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a <laughs> wonderful event. And so make sure you get out there to kneel today at 1.30 and Navarro tonight starting at 5.00. Uh, that's not it. Uh, we also oh, have... There's more? There's more. Oh, okay. We have Rayburn Intermediate School who will be celebrating <laughs> their Black History Month program tomorrow. And uh, we'll have a special guest, uh, Pastor Nuttall. And uh, if you've never heard Pastor Nuttall speak, she always has a bunch of fire. And uh, she, she's, <laughs> she's very She's been on KUS before. There I you believe. go. Yep. No she's, doubt. she's been here Sunday morning. So, so, so inspirational. Yes. Uh, I, I look up to her so much as a mentor all and right we're delighted to have her that program will be starting at eight they'll have one go from eight to nine and then they'll start another one from nine to ten and so oh they're we, doing it in shifts they are so we want to is be it flexible. the same program it is the same oh, okay program. so you can uh, choose to go one or the other you won't miss anything out. you won't miss anything all right so good deal uh that's going on tomorrow as well as the celebration of african-american history at jane long intermediate school that'll be going on tomorrow night at 5 30 to 7 p.m and uh, we just want to invite our community community leaders uh we're, we're going to have some artists there uh, artist faith ringo uh inspired a lot of our students uh to do some artwork and those winners will also be announced at this program and so mm. uh thank you to miss kellogg at uh, jay long for putting this together and the great leadership of cody uh, Satterfield there at Jane Long. We're excited about these events coming up. And so uh, please make it uh, a point to get out to at least one of those events and uh, we'll <clears throat> go from there. Also tomorrow, uh, any of my uh, Vikings that have been around, you know what Viking Relays is all about. And mm -hmm. so our track team will be hosting Viking Relays 
as well tomorrow evening. And it'll be starting at about 4 and it'll go to about 9.30 uh, p.m. And so whatever tickles your fancy. Wow, you got a lot uh, going on there. We do. Come on <laughs> out, uh, join us, and uh, it's going to be an incredible event. Um, and, and, and so we've got that, that going. And one more that I just want to mention because I think it's really cool. They do a wonderful job out at Navarro Elementary. They have an event called Build with Dad. Oh, uh, that sounds so like fun. It, it's going to be an incredible time. How's that work? Uh, so the dads come out at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. They stayed about 7.45 because we understand uh, dads have to get to work. Mm -hmm. and so we try to do it before <laughs> yeah. work starts. <laughs> Uh, but they come out and they sit with their children and they have an activity in which they're going to build something with their kids. I don't want to give away Well, you know, I remember doing uh, that with Michaela. Yeah, that's and we built, we built a we built a little toolbox. There you go. Yeah, you and go. I think some other kids were building birdhouses. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's cool. They bring you, you, you get the nails, the, oh, the yeah. hammers, we everything, have it all there. everything you need. You just got to show up. We do, and uh, we have special guests also join us. Uh, and we appreciate our dads coming out, uh, but we're also going to have a Rudder Ranger football team come out and join us. And uh, we just, we're oh. just delighted. Uh, they're going to have breakfast as well. And so dads, don't worry. You won't <laughs> miss breakfast. Uh, and this event will be happening Friday, March 6th at the Navarro Elementary Cafeteria from 7 a.m. to 7.45. No worries. We'll get you out for work. And you're gonna have a delighted time with uh, young people and your your son or daughter uh, at Navarro. So please uh, look for those forms that have come home. Please return those forms so we know how many mm -hmm. uh, dads did you got to provision all the the lumber and everything. The lumber, and we got to order the food. Most oh, importantly. the so, food, yes. Uh, we want to make sure uh, <laughs> we have breakfast on hand for our dads that come out to that. And uh, we just so much, we so appreciate. Uh, our dads for coming out, um, and, and as well as our moms. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know sometimes I know in my family, mom gets to, you know tends to make it to a little more events than I do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when I'm able to get out, I know my kids really enjoy it. And so yeah. the invitation Those, is open. Precious there. moments, no doubt. And so uh, to KEOS, uh, we really appreciate you having Brian ISD on the air, DJ. Lance always a pleasure. Dunn. We're always happy to bring good news to the community and That's give it. people like you an opportunity to spread yeah. spread some rays of sunshine well, throughout the community. You. Thank you. Well, the sun is shining in Brian <laughs> ISD. To our listeners, thank y'all. Please join us every Thursday just before the 8 o'clock hour. We thank you and we appreciate you. All right, Mr. Justin Smith, Public Outreach Officer for Bryan Independent School District. 802, as the music continues on the Oldies Jukebox, Fair skies, 31 degrees. Looking for a high of 59. Here's Dion Warwick. Say a little prayer. Sounds like a great idea. Here we go. All right. We'll see y'all next Thursday. See you on the radio. And we appreciate y'all coming out to 89.1 KOS Community, Community radio. radio for the Brazos Valley. Thank y'all, DJ Lance. You bet. We appreciate it. Fist bump. <laughs>